Warning, this video contains images of feral pests being shot using a rifle of suitable calibre. Please do not watch if you are likely to be offended. Furthermore, if you make any comments that are either negative, political or religious, they will be removed from my channel. Back again at my sentimental favourite permission. This place is not as hectic as my other permission, but we still enjoy coming back here. I think we're slowly getting on top of the rats here, as the numbers appear to be dropping. I guess time will tell, and until then, we will just have to keep coming back. Once again, I'll be using my FX Crown chambered in .22 with the ATN 4K Pro, the ABL Ballistic Laser and the JSB Hades at 15.89 grains. And Bob is also using his FX Royale, also in .22 with the ATN 4K Pro, the ABL Ballistic Laser and also the JSB Hades. Well, Bob started off alright, let's see how I go. Yeah, not happy with that. Let's go for a second shot. That's better. But this is how it should be done. Well I just cleared the bar with that shot and that's all that's needed. Now let's see if he'll reward us with a nice helicopter tail. That's close enough. This rat here shows why it pays to take that time to get the perfect shot. At any moment if I'd pulled the trigger the shot could have gone anywhere on this rat so I waited for him to slow down and stop moving and place the pellet straight to the head. Shot.
This rat dropped straight down, but it didn't take long for the nerves to kick in and he started to put on a performance. including a helicopter tail. I spotted this rat up cleaning himself, but it's going to take some scrubbing to get that stain out. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please help me out by hitting the subscribe button and the bell so you get notifications of new videos. Another nice strike to the head. That should earn us another helicopter's tail. That's a Texas enema. Okay, and now for something that's become quite popular on this channel, rapid fire. The worst thing about rapid fire is it's over too soon. Shot. We got a bleeder! Keep the 
I was pretty happy with the next two rats. The first one at 62 metres and the second one at 75 metres. We are constantly being asked what we do with the dead rats. Well, this is what we do. We collect them using barbecue tongs, so we don't actually have to handle the rats. We place them in a bucket and then put the dead bodies on the compost heap as per the instructions by the farmer. The next two shots I thought were misses, but as you can see there's no impact to the pellet. And that's because when I was cocking the rifle to feed the next round into the chamber, the magazine was sticking, so that'll have to be rectified before the next visit. Because as you can see here, when I do have a round in the chamber, the rat really doesn't stand a chance. And this mouse ends up being the last rodent shot for the night. It was just his bad luck that I was carrying my CZ452 chambered in .22. As the A-team would say, overkill is underrated. What's this? A second warning? This means that this part of the video contains images of feral pests, in particular cats, being shot using a rifle of suitable calibre. Please do not watch if you are likely to be offended. Once again, I will not tolerate abuse, threats or stupid comments. They will be removed from the channel. Please take the time to have a look at this government website. I'll put a link in the description below. Sadly, these were the only two cats that we managed to get on video. So that's it for this trip out. As you can see, the numbers are slowly dropping. I hope that the farmer is noticing this as well. There are still many more trips to come out here though. But for tonight, the total tally is 115 rats and 4 cats. 
Only two made it to film. Thanks again for watching. If you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. To get notifications of new videos, click on the bell. And until next time, please stay safe and stick to social distancing.